Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to Ozarks First Fast and Local. I'm meteorologist Natalie Nunn. Well, we aren't going to be seeing snow flying around anytime soon, but MoDOT isn't wasting any time when it comes to winter weather preparedness. On Wednesday, October 10th, MoDOT will hold a statewide winter weather drill. You may notice an increased number of MoDOT trucks on state routes that day. MoDOT says this year, the training is more needed than ever before as nearly 19% of snowplow operators have less than one year of experience and more than one third will have less than three years experience. Another reason the training is so important, we simply haven't had much in way of winter weather over the last three years. Despite the more mild winter, MoDOT spent $38 million on winter operations last year using 81 tons of salts and 928,000 gallons of salt brine and 134,000 gallons of beet juice. Now they are accepting applications for seasonal work and as well as full-time work. We'll have that link on our website, ozarksfirst.com. You know, we talked about those warm temperatures. We're not going to see anything anytime soon here in the Ozarks. We got up to 90 degrees last Friday. Now, we're still working on our high today, but it's been very, very seasonal, if beautiful outside, and we're going to stay that way for Tuesday, still in the 70s, but Wednesday, we're back to the 80s, so we'll do the winter weather preparedness with 80 degree temperatures. We'll be close to 90 once again by Saturday. Hey, we need to talk about Milton, because if you are planning on flying to Florida, uh, the middle part of this week or by the end of this week, just not a good idea. This is Hurricane Milton. The intensification of this hurricane is uh, just wild to see. Winds currently are at 175 miles per hour. This is a high category five storm, and that eye wall is just continuing to to grow and grow and grow and strengthen. It looks like Tampa Bay will take the brunt of this as it moves onshore, likely on Wednesday. We do have another historic event taking shape. We have three named storms in the Atlantic Basin right now. This is the latest time ever recorded of having three storms in October that are named. So the good news with that, Kirk and Leslie are weakening as Milton continues to strengthen. However, I was talking to Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. He said he believes Milton will actually weaken just a little bit before making landfall because of the drier air that we're seeing, even in Missouri, will kind of be pulled into that storm. So let's pray and hope that that is the case, that Milton will not be a Category 5 hurricane as it makes landfall in the middle part of this week. We'll have more on the MoDOT story as well as more on Milton. You can head to our website, ozarksfirst.com.